Hi Aries, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate. The messages are not for you. You can check your other signs or check back next time. All of the timestamps are located in the comments section as well as the description box. So if you want to skip ahead, you can do so. Your affirmation is I am successful. It says your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight, representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. So you could be seeing the number eight. I see you reaching a goal, Aries, in the future. Like I'm talking to an Aries where you have already set goals in the past and you've reached those goals and it's like you're going to continue to manifest success here. I'm getting like you're really brilliant, Aries. Your your brilliance is attracting this success and you're you're more brilliant than you realize than you give yourself credit for. I see a nest egg. Okay, uh, you're you're very secure in the future, Aries. It may feel like forces are working against you. It may feel like something here is hard for you at this time. Okay. I'm getting there might be some outside energies making something very challenging. But you, you seeing the number eight is reminding you that you're going to get through these challenges. I'm seeing you connect with people that are like-minded, Aries. I see a deep friendship developing in the future. I'm also getting like the universe is trying to connect you with people. Especially if you're an Aries that is feeling distant, okay? It looks like they're... Because I have uh, Nest, which it does say an emotional, uh, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. I feel like you don't trust many people, Aries. And I feel like if something is uh, feeling off, you really don't. You've had so many people screw you over. You've had so many people work against you. That it's like it could be really hard for you to develop connections and trust the connections. Especially those of you that are in this mindset of manifesting because it might be hard for you to trust people because maybe you are further along in life or some of you guys, you know, you're, you just feel like there might be people that are jealous or there might be people that try to interrupt your success. But I see the universe is trying to bring you together with a, a you know connection soul family but you're just you're not trusting it at this time a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important so I do see somebody who you can trust coming towards you. And you both have kind of been on this same journey. I feel like you both kind of will connect because you both have dealt with the same issues in the past. I feel like both of you may feel like there were forces working against you. Both of you may also not like to trust people. But it kind of looks like... You're accumulating a lot of wisdom, and it does look like there will be somebody here that you connect with in the future. What is this? I'm also getting a conversation. There's somebody you're, you're going to run into, and you're going to have a conversation with someone that really leaves you with important information for your journey. 
Like the universe is sending you this person. Those of you that are in dead end relationships specifically, this is for you what I'm about to say. If you're in a relationship that feels like it's not going anywhere or you feel like the person you're in a relationship with is not giving you attention or not being romantically involved enough, okay? I do feel like a lot of you guys will be meeting someone else that gives you more attention and you're going to want to leave the person you're with. Uh, that's just what I'm getting for some of you. You have a past lover coming out, somebody that you have a history with. There's a past situation that wants to surprise you. They want to reopen the connection. What is this career business? You met this person through work. There is a past person whom you met through work wanting to surprise you, or there's someone here you have a history with wanting to communicate with you in the present moment. Now I'm also getting for you singles. We have dating queen and we have children. Some of you guys may feel like you being a parent could uh, propose uh, an obstacle for your dating life, but I do see somebody with the mature man Male or female, I do see somebody interested in you. I feel like that's something that you don't need to worry about. Singles that are parents, it looks like you're going to be meeting someone here who is very accepting of your lifestyle. I see you communicating a lot with this person. But I'm also getting those of you that dealt with uh, romantic office stuff, there's somebody here who wants to reunite with you. What about the singles? Wallflower, you're, you're, you're too shy. You're limiting your potential by being too shy. Some of you guys are afraid to put yourself out there. Some of you guys are recently divorced or you've recently broken up with someone, or again, you could be a parent. And so you're trying to use discernment when it comes to dating with who you're bringing into your space. I see new love coming in. There's a person you haven't met yet coming towards you. Tell me more about this person. They make a lot of money. This person is well off. Singles, I see options coming in, but a lot of you guys are not trusting the options that come towards you because one, you're either still healing from something from the past or you just feel like you are, how do I want to say that? Kind of like your options are being restricted right now because you have other things to worry about, right? You have other loyalties that you are focusing on. But I see a new love interest, someone you have not met yet coming towards you. Yeah, I see you going on a date with this person. They're going to be very talkative. Could be an air sign. I'm getting Libra to be specific coming towards you. Do they have a Libra placement? Okay. The person that Aries has history with. Hold on one second, Aries. Okay. And don't forget, you can click to the timestamps. 
So, who is this person that Aries has history with? Could be a Scorpio, right? Could be a Pisces. So, this situation brought out a lot of fear. I'm getting like a nightmare. This was a nightmare. What is this? It was a nightmare? The world in reverse. You're walking away from some, some of y'all feel like you can't run away fast enough. Something turned your world upside down. Something really changed your reality, turned your reality upside down. I'm getting like, you're not walking, you're running away. I have Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. How do they see Aries? Oh, they miss you. They see you as someone they have history with. I'm getting like they miss you. How do they feel? They feel confused. I, I just saw the Seven of Cups. Somebody feels really confused. They feel like you're abandoning them. I think this person has abandonment issues in general, right? But they feel like you have turned a cold shoulder towards them. And they would like to get closure or they would like to reunite. Earth energy, water. I just feel like you've left them behind. What do they want from Aries? Ten of Swords. They want to repeat a cycle. This person wants closure. I'm getting like they, they want to turn things around. Uh, they don't like the way you're seeing the ending. They like I'm getting like somebody wants to change the ending by giving some type of closure or, you know, they don't like the way it ended and so they want to come back and end things on better terms. The Hermits, Virgo energy. Guys, I'm just getting this person is disappointed how things went, how the ending went, and they wish they could go back and change the ending. They're reflecting over what has been lost, okay? I do get some type of, like, there's, there's some regret towards not being open with you. not pursuing this or, or being open with you. If you didn't receive an apology from someone, they really want to apologize for something. But I'm just getting like they want to change the ending, guys. What's the potential outcome here? Aries energy, why? I see them ignoring this, guys. So it's like somebody wants to communicate, but they're ignoring it this week. They have things they want to say to you, but they're being too stubborn. Their ego has a strong hold on them. Kind of like, you know, this person, they feel like the, the way things ended was awful. And they want to tell you, they want to speak to you, but it's like their ego is telling them to cut it off, to, to keep moving forward. But it's like, if they keep doing, look at this, the tower. That's them wanting to change the ending. But potential outcome, they just keep moving on. They just keep... It's like they ignore it. They're going to ignore this this week and keep moving forward. And I'm getting like somebody wishes the ending was not 
the disaster it was. If you're connecting with a Virgo Aries, this Virgo, they're... This Virgo is not optimistic about the situation, specifically if you're connecting with a Virgo. I'm getting like the Virgo is very pessimistic that something here will work out between you two. But they still hold on to hope. It says, I know I messed everything up. They want to change the ending. They wish that things were not left this way. I'm getting somebody still wants you. It says, I want you so badly. And then it says the timing just wasn't right for us. This I want you badly card. Can we, can we get a better translation from that? So what I'm getting from this Aries is they, this person does spy on you. They're, they're still interested. They do spy on you. They're still wanting to communicate with you. They still want you in their life. We're going to move on to the cross watchers. We have strong Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Could be any sign. It's just energy. All right. Aries through Pisces. Okay, Aries through Pisces. Focus on your work, Aries. I'm getting like you should really be focusing on your work or your growth. King of Pentacles wanted to fly out. The universe is wanting you to just focus on your goals this week and yourself. But that being said, if you are dealing with another Aries, this Aries is detaching. The Aries is going silent. If you're dealing with a Taurus. The Taurus wants to come forward. They're feeling very distant. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini doesn't trust you, but they like you. The Gemini, you know, there's feelings there, but they don't trust you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the Cancer feels like this is too much drama, but they want to communicate. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is attracted to you. The Leo really likes you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is closing off. They're avoiding making a decision. If you're dealing with a Libra, the Libra has feelings for you. They want you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you make this Scorpio really happy. They want to communicate. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is taking a break. They're, they're, they're stepping back. But there's mutual feelings between you and a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn abandoned the situation. They walked away. I see a Capricorn that walked away slowly coming back. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius, does they don't know which direction to go. If you're waiting on an Aquarius, you're going to have to have a lot of patience because this Aquarius is not making a decision anytime soon. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces is in mental conflict over you. They're restless over the situation. All right, Aries, those are your messages. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate the support. Until next time, bye.